Okay, we've been talking about the fundamental theorem of calculus, and now we're going to work through some example problems that demonstrate the use of the theorem. And here's our first one. y is equal to the square root of x, a is 1 and b is 4, and we're told to find the area under y, that is under the graph of y, from a to b. So let's mark off the graph here, mark some points on our graph. Okay, we know what the, the square root curve looks like. It goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. So it will look something like this. It's a square root curve. And we're told to find the area under the graph from A to B. So that's from 1 to 4. So that's the area that we're looking for. And you can find this without drawing the picture, but I think it's always nice to make a quick sketch if you can, just to have a visual picture of what's going on. Now here's the solution to the problem. We know that the area under the graph will be the integral from 1 to 4 of this function, square root of x dx. So we need to find the antiderivative of that function, and that's easy to do. The square root of x is x to the 1 half, so we just add 1 to the exponent, that makes it x to the 3 halves, and divide by the new exponent. So it would be x to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. And dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. So when we integrate this, we get 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. And we evaluate that from 1 to 4. And so what that means is we take the 4 and plug it in there for x, minus this expression with the 1 plugged in there for x. So that's going to look like this. 2 thirds times 4 to the 3 halves minus 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 halves. And we could factor out the 2 thirds as well. So we get 2 thirds and then 4 to the 3 halves. Well, what is 4 to the 3 halves? Well, this is a power of 3 and then a square root. So let's do the square root first. 4 square rooted is 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So this is 8 minus, and then over here the 2 thirds is already factored out. So we just have 1 to the 3 halves, which is just 1. So it's 8 minus 1. So it's 2 thirds times 7, or 14 thirds. And that's our answer. And that's the exact area here under the graph. It's not an approximation. Um, that is exactly correct. 